Today, we are on our way to two different stations that technically are open, but also not. They were mothballed 20 years ago, and you can still buy tickets to them, weirdly. I'll explain more in voiceover. So Wedgwood and Barlaston are two mothballed stations in Staffordshire between Stoke-on-Trent and Stone. In May 2004, passenger services between these stations were temporarily withdrawn to allow for modernisation works on the West Coast Main Line, with services replaced by a bus. However, passenger services never did return, and the rail replacement bus is still running to this day, operated by the D&G 100 service, who still accept valid rail tickets. So, we have to go now to the technically rail replacement bus to get us to Wedgwood Station. So, we need to walk to a bus stop that is just outside of the station here. Like, oh. one minute outside. It's just started raining. Oh, uh, no. And it's just started <laughs> raining as well, which is not great. So here we are. Yeah, it's the 100 to, from Hanley to Stone, which calls, yeah, Wedgwood and Barniston, which are actually the, uh, the two mothballed stations. But I think the stop's called, like, Wedgwood Old Road or something that we're actually meant to go to, but we'll, we'll see how it works. <laughs> Are we able to use these tickets to go to Wedgwood Station, by any chance? Are they train, st are they train tickets? Uh, yes, they are. Which, you're okay, yeah, you're okay so. on it, yeah. yeah. Alright, cool, nice. Yeah, cool, thank you very much. I was very confused as to how the whole, like, using the ticket to go to the station would work, because this isn't really a, like, proper rail replacement bus, it's just some regular, like, just generic bus. But, yeah, it's weird, you can actually just use the rail ticket on your phone to get to the station on the bus. It's very weird. <laughs> Look at those, we're proper cool kids. We're at the back of the bus. Way. <laughs> I mean, there's only like two other people on this bus, but you know, we're, st we're still the cool kids. So we are told we need to go to Wedgwood Old Road, which is, I've got it marked on the map here, it's there relative to where actual Wedgwood Station is there, so I'll have to keep a close eye on the map just to make sure I actually know when to get off. It's so tricky to film, like, stable shots on buses because they're so bumpy all the time and... <laughs> oh dear, I'm very sorry. Alright, we're not far off. We're getting pretty close to Wedgwood. Thank you very much. Cool. Well, here we are at the uh, stop we need. We actually thought it was the uh, next one, but the bus driver told us it was this one, so we've got out here instead. Water. How nice. But uh, yeah, we can actually see it right now. The station is just down the road. So, here it is. Wedgwood, the first of the Stations that are technically open, but not really. It feels very funny getting to a station by bus using a train ticket, which funnily enough, we bought with today's sponsor, TrainPal. Yes, indeed, this video is sponsored by TrainPal, a very handy app which you can use to buy physical tickets, e-tickets, and rail cards. Now, you know me, I have to do quite a lot of rail travel, and the costs really can rack up over time. But thankfully, a lovely thing that TrainPal does is that they do split ticketing, allowing for travel to the same places, but for cheaper. And, as you may know, you can use a rail card to get further discounts on rail tickets. And, using my code, BADLEY, that's B-A-D-L-E-Y, you can get 34% off your next rail card using TrainPal. And, as a lovely bonus on top of that, you can also get a bunch of different nice little discounts on various other rail travel. I've actually used TrainPal myself on quite a few occasions, including this exact video to get to Wedgwood and Barliston. So, thank you very much to TrainPal for sponsoring this video. So, rather unfortunately, but quite obviously, we're not actually allowed onto the platform because apparently due to the condition of the platforms, but you can still get a pretty nice view from this gate here. You're just looking on your phone right now. What? So there, so there are actually trains that do come through here still, just that they don't call at these stations. Yeah, so there's the, there's a cross-country yeah. uh, Manchester to Bournemouth services, there's the Avanti Manchester to London service, which, well, at the moment is terminated at Milton Keynes because of yeah. like Eastern Engineering weekend. works this so weekend. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then there's also like the London uh, Northwestern stuff, which is a uh, crew to Stafford. So a few yeah. stuff go through, but I think but wait just, about a 20 minute wait. Just not calling here train, and haven't done for 20 years. 
funny thing though is that because again they're still officially open they still have to update the information boards here with like timetables of the uh, you know bus services that come through and with the like information or whatever with London Northwestern Railway. <laughs> Interesting here on the board they call it wedge wedge with an e wood whereas everywhere else it's just wedge wood without that second e. <laughs> They can't decide what to call it, apparently. So this station is like right next to something called World of Wedgwood, which seems to have like a few little local things like pottery and stuff. And it has a tea room in, which... You really want to go to the tea room, don't I you? Love, I love little tea room cafe. It's, it's, it's amazing. Just okay, okay, them. fine. We're gonna go away. I'll go. <laughs> well... You can see that this bus timetable hasn't been updated since 2020. It still says the bus route that we took is the 14 where it was the 100. So <laughs> that's clearly not up to date. So the other platform here has actually got a proper like map with the onward travel information, although it also looks like it hasn't been updated since about 2020, since it's also still saying the 14 route and there's still a wash your hands for more than 20 seconds poster here. <laughs> it's crazy that it's just like, it's not been open for so long that the station signs there are still, I'm pretty sure, regional railways. They've got the regional railways branding on them, which is, man, that's, that, that's quite old. <laughs> so you say there's a train coming through soon. Yeah. In like, what, like five minutes uh, something? Yeah, around six minutes, a uh, cross-country voyager. Oh, nice. We just barely missed out on seeing the Pride Pendolino it turns out. We could, we could hear a train coming when we were arriving here, but yeah, it turns out it was the Pride Pendolino. <laughs> Shame. Anyway, I think that's probably enough of Wedgwood now. Let's carry on just down the road to the other mothball station, Barliston. Not until we just very briefly check out this tea room you uh, you mentioned. We'll give it a look. Never mind, that place was really about like afternoon tea and stuff and we really didn't have time to have the full experience there. So uh, yeah, we're gonna just continue to Barliston instead. Hopefully go to the pub there if it's open. Yeah. Oh no, we got caught out with a level crossing. Uh, oh, I guess we'll have to wait. Right, so it's about an 18 minute walk from Wedgwood Station to Barliston Station. It's basically just straight down the uh, main road, so won't be very long. Turns out I was wrong. Um, we actually have to follow the canal, not the uh, main road. So that's nice, it'll be some pretty scenery. Yeah, this is pretty. A nice little uh, unexpected canal walk. Never goes amiss. We are now on the approach to Barliston. We can just about see it through the trees here. There we are, we can see the first uh, hints of the station up there. Barliston. Well, yep, here it is, the other station. Barliston. This one's actually um, got a, a double arrow sign out of it still, unlike uh, Wedgwood. And you can also see much more clearly the uh, regional railways signage that the uh, station has. Of course, like Wedgwood, we can't actually get onto the platform because, you know, it's padlock shocked for good reason. And it also seems that the uh, information on these boards here, once again, hasn't been updated since 2020. But Oh well. So of the two stations we've been to today, um, out of Wedgwood and Barliston, I'm pretty sure Barliston does have a slight chance of potentially reopening. As far as I'm aware, it's meant to be a sort of capacity benefit for post HS2. Now given that HS2 so far is cancelled north of Birmingham, I don't know, but if by some miracle it all gets reinstated, this station could be reopened as maybe a sort of capacity booster. So that could be potentially something to look forward to. I'll see you in like 20 years time if this station is eventually reopened.
Now, I haven't actually mentioned it in this video yet, but there is actually a third station amongst these two that were also closed in 2004, and that station is Norton Bridge. However, unlike these two that are just mothballed, Norton Bridge was officially closed in 2017, which was seven years ago now at this point, so yeah, there is no service running to it, all stuff on the platforms has been removed, and yeah, that one's officially just dead as a doorknob at this point. But apart from that, those are the mothballed stations between Stoke-on-Trent and Stone that you can still buy a ticket to after 20 years. It's crazy that uh, this map here they've got is clearly quite an old map, but it still mentions trains to Stoke-on-Trent and Manchester and trains to Stafford and London, which is very, very nice. So there you are, two stations that are technically closed that you can still buy a ticket to and that has been the case for 20 years <laughs> so yeah this is pretty cool i'm glad i came here so thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed leave a like and a subscribe all of that cool youtube stuff and uh yeah did you enjoy these stations yes it was some very nice scenery love the canal walk Just... yeah it's good nice to unexpected, places. unexpected canal walks are the best but yeah so hope you enjoyed and i uh suppose I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye. And of course, a massive shout out to all my patrons and channel members who are listed on screen now. Thank you all very much for supporting the channel. You're all amazing and brilliant. Love you. <laughs>